What is up guys? It is Thursday today and it's August 11th. So I am about <clears throat> to hit my workout. It's a little bright. It's kind of gloomy though. We had like a lot of rain, a lot of thunder last night. It was crazy windy. But I'm hoping that it's probably a little cooler out because it's been really hot and muggy these past few days. Um, so I'm about to hit my workout. I just had a great workout. Uh, I actually did like some cleaning and stuff before I worked out, but you guys don't need to hear about that. So I just had a great workout. I'm about to hit the showers. I, as you can tell, I'm sweating. I had like one of the best workouts I've had in a long time. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna hit the showers and then I will be back in a split second. All right, so I just had a great workout and I am hungry, so I'm about to make a shake and I'm also about to probably uh, do four eggs, maybe probably six because I'm probably gonna have to share it with these little ones and just fry that up. Have um, probably, I would, out of the six, I'm probably gonna end up having like a serving of probably of two. This is what my first meal of the day looks like. Got some eggs there with, got about two eggs with some hot sauce, two whole grain toasts with a little bit of butter, and I got my shake. And once I'm done eating, I will be taking my vitamins. Um, and what I take for vitamins is I take two fish oils, I take a vitamin D, and I take a multivitamin and I take zinc for immune health. So I'm about to eat this and then we'll uh, go from there. So you guys saw my breakfast. I still have my shake so I'm just going to basically sip on it, drink it probably for the next hour while I um, do some stuff on the computer. So I haven't ate anything else yet for the day but I am coming to second wind to try and see if I can find a bench. All right, so it's definitely been a little trip to get to the second wind. Uh, the first destination it took me to, they were apparently not open and it was closed. So hopefully I can kind of see, kind of get an idea and see if they actually are cheaper than like Dick's. Well, I guess you could say the good news is I didn't spend any money. The bad news is I couldn't find exactly what I was looking for. They didn't have exactly what I was looking for, so I have to probably go online and buy it, which they have the sales going on online. The exporting goods does until, I think, 10 p.m. tonight. So I'm probably going to end up, I'm probably going to go back home and look online and see. But first, it is, what, 110? So, I have to go to the grocery store real quick and pick up some stuff for dinner. And then I will be going home. Alright, so I just did a small grocery haul. And I also bought something that for like working out that I want to show you guys. It's called this trigger point massager so it's like great for loosening up your joints and like your waist and your muscles and things like that so I'm really looking forward to it especially since my back is really stiff after cardio sessions and after like doing squats and back workout so I hope this works and does what I want it to do so that's one thing I got and then um, just got a couple bananas 
And I so I got this tomato and basil sauce. And I got zucchini and mozzarella cheese. cheese. So can anyone guess where I'm going with this? I'm going to make zucchini cheese pizza. Also got some spinach because like I said I was out of spinach earlier for my shake. Um, and I got oregano leaves that apparently you need to mix in with the whole pizza thing. And then I got pot roast seasoning and pot roast sauce because I still yet have to try out those crock pot liners. So I, this is this is pretty nice. I love this. This is why I love going to Walmart. You have the pot roast, so you have the pot roast and the vegetables and everything all in one. This was 15 bucks. So, I mean, it comes out to be very cost effective. All right, guys, I, so I still have not ate anything since what I had after working out. I'm not actually really hungry, but I am getting hungry, as you will probably see in my uh, meal prep videos that are going to be coming out soon, or they might be already out, I'm not sure. Um, I have two things there that I'm meal prepping, and I'm definitely going to eat that. So it's the pizza zucchini boat and the pork tenderloin with turkey stuffing. So I have not ate that yet, but of course my OCD is kicking in. I'm sweating, I'm hot, and all that running around I did just now. I'm probably going to take another shower once these zucchini boats, these pizza zucchini boats are done. And then I will, hopefully my pork tenderloin will be done. Then I'll make my stuffing, and it'll be time to eat. I cannot wait. The zucchini pizza boats are completed. I just pulled them out. So I'm going to let them cool off while I go take a shower real quick. And all my laundry I started doing this morning, um, I have like two things left. So I'm going to go shower. I'm really hot, and I just swept and mopped. So I will be, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, Jess took a shower. Got a little piece here to taste test. We'll see how how it tastes. Definitely cheesy, but this is pretty good. You might not want to use as much cheese as I did, but I still give it like an eight out of ten. It's really good. I like it. So. I'm basically going to have one log of that, or add probably half a log, and that's what I've ate now. And then I'm just waiting for actual dinner dinner to be done. Alright guys, well I just had my second meal of the day, which was the, that zucchini boat pizza that you saw me meal prep in there. And then I also had um, just like that, like... <laughs> one eighth a serving of the pork tenderloin and a spoon, probably one serving of stuffing, of the turkey stuffing. Now, I am about to have some Ben and Jerry's half-baked froyo. There's probably like, there's half left in here. So that's gonna be 180 calories. Plus, I'm going to do a snickerdoodle skinny cow, which is 150 calories. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm still kind of hungry though, so I'm hoping after eating this dessert, I won't be hungry and I'll be good. But as far as going, as eating, I'm usually done eating at about like 6.30, 7 o'clock the latest. Because it just, I don't know, it helps me sleep better. I noticed that I've been sleeping, I've been falling asleep faster and not like tossing and turning, waiting for food to settle down too as well. So uh, that's, you know, that's what works for me. Hey guys, it is the next day. Thank you for watching this full day of eating day in the life video. I appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And that was pretty much all that I had to eat that yesterday. <clears throat> um, I woke up, hit the scale. I was 206, so I've been, like I said, I've been maintaining between 204 and 206 this past couple of, I guess this past month. So... Uh, I am in a cal cal caloric deficit, so I am trying to cut back on the calories, but also trying to also make and choose healthy options that aren't too fatty, aren't too high in carb, 
and that just fit well. It's always hard, but you always try. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll hit you in the next video.